hello everyone welcome to another bitcoin update um i'm lakey your host from cosby finance and we do this every monday and we we look at what is obtainable from the markets the crypto markets and we also create strategies for for the boom and crash and um, how to trade boom and crash how to um how to set targets how to make how to um, set stop loss how to trade spikes the volatility 75 and you know every other kind of asset that it's obtainable but basically we focus on the, the volatility 75 and the boom and crash and the crypto markets so today We'll be looking at what you can actually expect from the Bitcoin market. Now, this is my Bitcoin chart, and um, you can see that from the previous week, Bitcoin had showed some 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 bullish trend, but still, we've still not had any significant move or push to the upside. If you, if you check the video for, of last week, you realize that our our target was 90 was 9785 for the bullish run so but we noticed that we are still within our range which is between 9007 which is between 9078 and 9350 so this range seemed to be very strong and it's yet to be broken so any movement above this range or below this range will signify the next move that bitcoin will be making the significant move that bitcoin will be making and then um, from what we see here on our macd okay from what we see here on our macd we can see that the macd is already below the zero mark so and um, we expect that this should be able to cross upwards that is cross the zero mark um but another possible um another possible scenario could be that we have uh, a cross since we are still in the oversold region which is below zero on the macd we could still see a cross below which we help which will help continue the downtrend well if you notice that this moving average which is the total moving average you can see that the candles that is the price is moving haphazardly is consolidating around this moving average which is this white 200 moving average so this we really can't make any decision based on this and um you check your macd you will notice the same thing you notice the same thing here so and um you can see that your the instagram of your macd is also small you can see that the 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 difference isn't too obvious so that is basically um what is obtainable for now we just have to wait we want to see if the price breaks above either 9350 then to continue to the upside you know to, to hit our target of 9785 or it breaks below 9000 and 78 and it cross and it continues downwards so either which ways what we want to see is the break of this range either to the upside or to the downside before we take the necessary step so that is that on bitcoin for the week then for ethereum we know definitely that bitcoin and ethereum um they act kind of similar you know their movements are actually similar to themselves okay now what we see on ethereum is a bit is similar but quite but different now you can see that last week we had a push up to the upside of sorry let me move this a bit and see we had a push up to the upside of 248 and uh, i believe our target 
our target was 260. We expected that Bitcoin, sorry, Ethereum was going to touch 260 dollars. We expected that there was going to be uh, a retracement to 240. Then we had, then we have a push up straight to 260. But that didn't happen. Instead, 240 was a strong resistance, and we had a push down towards 2 to 233 so though we're still in a range between 240 and 233 but we, we notice that the support around the 200 ema is quite strong which is this 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 white moving average is is serving as a support and we, we expect a strong push to the upside so basically what we want just like the analysis on bitcoin we expect that okay if if is if if we want a movement to the upside it has to break through 240 retest it then push towards 260 or we expect that it drops below 233 retest then it continues downwards but either ways you can see that your MACD is also telling you the same thing like the bit like bitcoin though here we, we are already above the zero mark we are above the zero mark but there could be a cross downwards there will be a cross downwards and um it could actually be anytime soon and we can see that there's a bit of of accumulation you can see our instagram here how small and tiny it is so it shows some accumulation here so any movement could any movement to the upward or the downward side could occur soon so that is that on ethereum and bitcoin so basically you can see boom and, you can see the boom and crash market also um I actually have a present trade on uh, on boom 500 you can see it's moving drastically downwards and i'm already in profit i have two trades in this already so it's already in profit so it's one trade is the second entry this one entry second entry so it's pushing downwards drastically so these are the kind of things we actually discuss in this channel so um i know a lot of princes might be interested in all this and our advice that if you want to have a view of this or if you want to actually do trade yourself and learn the art of making profit in the market just join the telegram group you see the link in the description below and also you can also contact me if you want to learn how to trade and make an extra income for yourself so i remain your boy lakey from cosby finance and i'll see you in the next session